Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing an embroidery video, but not just any embroidery video. We're going to be embroidering on cardstock. We're going to make this super cute greeting card. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Check that out. That is all embroidery from the embroidery machine. You can do this technique with a single needle or a multi-needle. I used the Rakoma that you see right back there. But the uh, you could do this on a single needle just as easily. It's very, very easy. You just need a couple of things. One, you're going to need some watercolor cardstock or a thick cardstock. I used 140 pound weight watercolor cardstock. I will try to link some in the description below the video. I like that because it's thick enough that you're not going to perforate um, to the point of making a big hole in your cardstock. Also, you're going to need some kind of a design that is not dense. I wouldn't do a fill stitch on cardstock, although you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the lighter, uh, sketchy looking designs work better for cardstock, or at least that's what happened for me. And then I used iron on cutaway for my stabilizer, and I put that right on the cardstock, and I'll show you that in the video tutorial. But that worked really well. I also made one prior to that. If you don't have any iron-on cutaway on hand, you can try. I use two pieces of tearaway, but don't tear it away. You want to leave it intact the entire time. Don't ever tear it away because you will probably perforate your cardstock to the point of making a hole. So other than that, that's really all you need. I will link this design in the description below the video if you want to replicate this one. Or, you know, there are tons and tons and thousands and millions of <laughs> embroidery designs that would work just fine. Just like I said, you don't want anything that is real dense in a specific area because it will make a hole in the cardstock. But isn't this just too cute? And again, it's in, I made it into a card. So you could do this. I'm thinking Christmas cards would be really cute. You could embroider Christmas trees, or you can embroider a wreath or something like that. Let's get this to focus. Come on camera. There we go. So lots and lots of ideas. A really, really fun, really simple. Doesn't take a lot. You've got your embroidery machine already. I will tell you that um, anytime you sew on paper, it does dull your needle faster than embroidering on fabric. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to change your needle after this project. So let's get started. So we're going to start by applying some iron-on cutaway to our watercolor cardstock. I've cut them both to about five by five inches. One side of your iron-on cutaway has a shiny side. That's the adhesive side and the other side's sort of matte. On the watercolor paper, there's usually one side that's smooth and one side that's rough. You can use whatever you want. I'm gonna say the smooth side is the back. So I'm going to apply the shiny side of the iron-on towards the smooth side of the cardstock. You can do it either way you want, but you want to make sure that you are ironing on the matte side of the iron-on tearaway, so not the shiny side. The shiny side is the adhesive. You want to put that against the cardstock. Just takes a few seconds with a hot iron and you will have a piece that is all connected and glued together. And that should provide enough stabilization for the embroidery to keep it from tearing. So you can see it's become one. So over here at the embroidery machine, I've used a little bit of temporary adhesive and sprayed the back, the side that has the iron-on cutaway. And that's just to make it grip a little bit better. And I'm just going to place this right inside the frame and make sure that it's tacked down nicely. And then we're just going to do our usual lining it up, making sure that it's centered. We're going to do a trace to make sure that it's going to fit within the frame of, or the hoop frame. And once we're ready, we're going to hit start. The most important thing I found when looking for designs to add to cardstock is to find something that is not overly dense. This is mostly just a sketch just outlines and that works best. Just single lines of embroidery. You don't want anything too dense. What's going to happen is you will get thread breaks and or it's going to put a hole into your cardstock. Remember, we're perforating cardstock every time that needle penetrates. So once it's all done, go ahead and remove it from the machine and remove it from your hoop. And then just use the cardstock on the top, the five by five to cut the 
rest of the um, cutaway away. You don't want to try to rip this off. You will rip the cardstock. You don't want to use the tear away. Although I did try my first version with two sheets of tear away and it worked. But again, you don't want to rip it. We have just punctured lots of holes into paper. And if any kind of pulling or tugging is likely going to rip it. So I'm just cutting it down. I'm using this paper trimmer. I find this is the easiest way. And so and now we're left with about a four and a half by four and a half inch piece of cardstock. So what we're going to do is mount this on a, another piece of cardstock to create a card. But first I thought we would add a few embellishments. So I've got a scrap piece of my watercolor paper and a red marker. And I just thought either I'm going to make some hearts to make it like she's blowing kisses, which is how the original embroidery file looked, or maybe just put a heart under the love. So I have a little heart stamp. You could easily cut these by hand, or if you have a Cricut or a silhouette, you could use that. Um, a sticker, heart sticker, anything you want. But I just, this was handy, so I thought it would be super simple. So I'm kind of just playing around and trying to see if I want to do like three little hearts, like she's a blowing kisses, which I think is really cute or maybe just put a heart down by the word love. And that's ultimately what I decided to do. So I have a little bit of this double-sided adhesive foam tape. You can get this in just about any home department store, or you could just use, just put it flat down, glue it flat down on the card, whatever you want. I just thought this would add a little bit of dimension to the card. So I'm just adding a little tiny piece behind this heart and I'm going to stick that right at the word at the end of the word love. And that just makes it pop up off the cardstock a little bit again, just to add a little bit of dimension to the card a little bit more because we already have dimension with the embroidery, right? So super cute. Here's our card front. So all we have to do is create a card to attach this to. This is what the backside looks like. You're never going to see that. So let's get another piece of watercolor cardstock. By the way, this is the cardstock that I'm using, but any watercolor cardstock, you can pick it up just about anywhere. So I'm just kind of measuring the width so that I'll have about a quarter of an inch all the way around the card. I'm just making a mark so that I know where to cut it. I'm going to bring that paper trimmer in one more time and just cut on my mark. I really like this paper trimmer because it has a wire right down the center of your cutting area and that tells you exactly where your cut's going to be. So and now that we have that, just making sure that it is the right width. So we want to put it on the bottom of the piece of cardstock that we've cut down because this is going to fold over. If you wanted your fold to be on the side, you want it to be a side open card, you would want to reverse rotate this 45 degrees to the left, but I'm going to have an card that opens top to bottom. So now I'm just using a little bit more of this foam tape. And again, if you don't have foam tape, don't worry about it. You could just glue this down right to the front of the cardstock. I just like the way it looks popped up a little bit, but absolutely not necessary. So I'm just removing the protective backing. This is a double sided adhesive. So it's got a little piece of paper on one side that you peel off and reveal when you're ready to reveal the adhesive. So we're just going to peel that off and then place this on the front of the card. So we're ready to place it down. We're just going to center it again on the bottom portion. And I'm just making a about a quarter of an inch all the way around. And if you don't push it down, you can still lift it up and straighten it if you need to. And then we're just going to fold this in half. And it's a little bit over half, but again, I'm trying to keep that quarter inch margin all the way around. And then just use the side of a pen. I'm just using a scraper that I had here. If you have a bone folder, typically what I would use just to get that crease nice and stiff. And then I'm just going to bring that paper trimmer in one more time and make sure both sides are even. And there you have it. Here's our little greeting card. How cute is this? And so simple but really, really looks expensive. It's a one of a kind and your recipient will be really, really surprised when they open up and feel that there are real stitches on top of this card.
And here's another version. I think this looked really cute with the just one single heart in her hand blowing a kiss. So I hope this video inspired you to create some cards or to embroider on cardstock. I think it's a really fun alternative way to use your embroidery machine. And what a wow factor when someone gets a card that has embroidery on it. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.